Hi, I'm Chuck Joseph, and on behalf of HCAM, I'm glad to welcome you to the uh, Hopkins Center for the Arts in progress as we speak here. We're on the uh, Hopkins Road side of the building, and many of you know the, the barn, which is being converted into uh, a learning center with studios, arts, art studios, dance studios, music studios, etc. But now we're at a point where we're adding on to that the main gallery, the central gallery, which goes out into the high school parking lot, as well as into the parking lot for the Hopkins Center for the Arts. And of course, the Performance Center, which is next door, uh, which is really going to be a highlight. And many of the community will be uh, making use of that, I'm sure, over the years. So we're glad to be here. And uh, with that, we're going to kind of venture on into the gallery space and then over into the performance space. All right, so we're now in the main gallery section of the new Center for the Arts, and this is a flow-through or walk-through section with access to the high school parking lot on one side and the Hopkins Center for the Arts parking lot on the other. Contained in here will be enough space for actual art exhibits as well along the walls. The wall's going to be high with a cathedral ceiling, ticket booth, catering kitchen, control room, restrooms for the whole center, admin offices, etc. This is where most people are going to be entering into um, the Hopkins Center for the Arts and then going into either the school for various uh, classes or the Performance Center. And we'll head in there next. All right, so we're now in the Performance Center and this is really where a lot of the public is going to experience the Center for the Arts for lecture series, for music concerts, for theatrical performances, um, and for various functions as well. It's designed with 16 foot high walls and we have these phenomenal trusses that were built from lumber from Oregon that was shipped to Vermont where they milled the trusses, disassembled them, brought them here and we craned them up this past week and they were up here waiting for the roof panels which will be coming on later in the week. This is where I think the community will identify the Hopkins Center for the Arts because of the various functions that will be here. And we're very excited about what this brings to the community potentially in terms of concerts, theater, and lectures. So we're backstage now behind the Performance Center where all the performers would be during a show before they come out and afterwards. Uh, it's also a set shop where theatrical sets can be constructed and then used during performances here. Um, and there's also a garage door at the end so that if there's a big function in here it can be catered through this area as well. It's kind of a multi-purpose uh, part to the, but a, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that are really necessary in order to make the whole place work properly. We're really excited about it. So from here we'll go into the barn and show you where all the classes are going to be held. So we're now in the uh, final section that we'll be showing you today, which is the interior of the barn, which is going to become the learning center. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but we're on our way to bringing it to fruition. There'll be visual arts classrooms for oil painting, watercolors, etc. There'll be a dance studio, three uh, music studio rehearsal rooms, uh, one for small group, two for individuals, and then a large area upstairs, which we'll just go to last to give you a sense of what that's all about. All right, so this is our last section up here, which is the second floor of the barn, which currently we're leaving as one large open space. It's perfect for small acoustical shows, poetry readings, uh, various large classes, choral groups, and we're really going to look forward to see how this is going to be used. Um, it does have the capability in the future to be subdivided, should that be needed, um, based upon the programming of the Center for the Arts. So that's it for now. Um, on behalf of the HCA and HCE, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to go to the website for the Hopkins Center for the Arts and consider contributing to get us to the finish line. This is a um, really unique public-private co-venture where the community benefits and your taxes are not raised. This is all being done with donations from your neighbors and we encourage you to do the same to get us to the finish line. So thanks very much. <laughs>